Well, it, it, congratulations, Florida, on having a great season, winning the SEC championship, and then um, coming in here and um, competing as well as they did. They made it tough on us, and I thought we played really well today. Um, we came out incredibly strong in doubles, we were executing well, moving well, and had an enormous amount of energy. So really pleased with how we started, and um, we got off to an excellent start in singles as well. We used the momentum, um, and it carried over. And so the guys are locked in and seem to be playing really well, and now we just need to prepare for who's ever next. What's it say about your players? I mean, the consistency over the last so many years. I know seven, yeah. I believe this will be your seventh semifinal appearance. Just what does it say about the consistency in, uh, of your players yeah. and, and what you've built there? Well, uh, it's probably one of the things I'm certainly most proud of is I think consistency is really hard to come by and you have to you know, keep the focus on year after year. There's so many great coaches and competitive programs out there that it's hard to be consistent. So when these guys put the orange and blue on, they have a tremendous amount of pride and um, I'm really proud of that. Uh, they, they play um, for something bigger than themselves, and it, it shows uh, day in and day out in practice as well as in matches. Today, it wasn't the one and two in singles. It was everybody else down your lineup who kind of clinched it, and it was similar against Oklahoma State. Is, that, is the depth kind of what, what has separated you guys in these last few seasons, do you think? I think depth has been a strength for us for a long time. Um, and I think you will see that amongst a lot of the top programs. But certainly, we, we believe in our depth. But I'm really pleased with how we played at the top of the lineup today as well. Ryan Shane um, was about ready to go up two breaks in the third. Um, he's playing some great tennis and moving well. Um, and then uh, we were serving for it at number two with Colin Altamirano. So I like how we were playing up and down the lineup. I, I thought it was a strong performance. Everybody's focused on their job and controlling what they can. And, we left it out there and we played a really complete match. Luca, talk about your match. Obviously, you know two of the uh, highest ranked doubles teams going at it. Just talk about that match. Yeah, we played them earlier in the year uh, in Gainesville, and I was talking to Ryan about it. Um, you know, before the match, I thought these guys were one of the best teams we played all year, and they serve really well, return well. Both of them great volleys, so I knew it was going to come down to a couple points, and we won a couple deuce points. I think in the beginning of the match and came out with a ton of energy and like I said before this is how the doubles point works it's whoever can win those deuce points and they went our way today so we got the job done Luke, it seemed like probably half the points in that match you or Ryan had had a smile on your face is that yeah. just kind of the groove you guys are in right now yeah no we you know we've been very close become best friends you know known each other for so long and I know this is the last uh, tournament that we could play with each other in the orange and blue so we're just trying to enjoy it as much as possible I know that I'm going to miss being able to play with him and yeah, we just keep it really light on the court. That's how he's in singles as well. I don't know if you've you know gotten to see too much of his matches, but that's just the kind of guy he is, and that's what makes him so good.